Good Sunday morning, everyone. Hey, this one is going to be a four-part series on car design. So last March, you all know what happened last March. Well, I got into the kick of creating lots of cards. So I did a bunch of classes on card design. So if you want to watch all the classes, and if you are a member, go ahead and log into the Members Only section, and then go to 2020 Members Classes. Scroll down and you'll see a bunch of them. They are right in the number two, I believe, area. Let's see here. Yeah, so you'll see card design using templates and droplets. And then there's one on digital card design, the thank you card. Uh, there is also the digital card Easter card and then the digital card good friends. So there's a bunch of card design classes. And if you can't find them, just go ahead and do a search. There's a little search button up here. Click card design or type in maybe even just card, but card design. Hit that enter button and then you'll see all of them pop up. There's other ones too. So hybrid card making. Uh, part one and two, I forgot I even did those. So there's a lot of them in here for all of you card makers out there. So I hope you enjoy this four part series. See you next Sunday. Bye for now. Hello everyone, it's Michelle Stelling from the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers. And we are film, filming this a few days after Easter. That is why I have the Easter egg fingernails going on. I'm not gonna be really loud either because my husband is in the other room and he's on a conference call right now. So I'm pulling my microphone up really close. If I do tend to be too quiet, just let me know and I'll try to be a little bit louder. But we happen to have the same time conference call and class at the same time. And he's working from home now because this is taped during the COVID 19 oh, let's get over with this um stay home stay at home thing okay so what i want to do is i'm going to show you some of the samples that we're going to create today and i'm super excited about this class i've been getting into card creation look at this girls i don't think sam's in here so i can say girls but look at all these cards i've made in the last what couple weeks uh, some of them are a little different, like I have a, a, a border at the top and the bottom, and then I have border on, borders on all the sides. I'm just showing you these because I want you to kind of have an open mind with how you're going to create your cards. This one right here, I like borders. I don't know why, but I really like borders. And uh, so I have like a quarter of an inch border all around. Now I do have one that goes all the way to the side. Darn it, I was gonna show you something else before I did this, but um, anyway, that's okay. So this one goes all the way to the side. It does not have a border. And as you notice here, right here, you can see that I glued, not, what was on the side? Right here, I glued that on, so it's 3D. This one here has a border and it has a nice, a 3D heart on it. All right. Now, I'm going to show you even a, in a little bit here, but I'm going to tell you, you really only need a couple, a few items to do these cards. Okay. I use this guy right here. It's a big cutter. Okay. Now, all of you probably, if you were a traditional scrapbooker, you probably have something like this. If you don't, it's not a big deal. You could use like um, a razor blade to cut your cards or your pieces of paper. You could also use like, scissors if you're good with it, but I use this. Okay. Then I bought, and I love white, but they have different colors. But I went online to uh, Amazon and I, I'm going to push this up really close so you can see it. It's called A2 Cards and Envelopes and it was really inexpensive. It's under $10 for 50, set, for 50 sets. Okay, A2 Cards and Envelopes. And I got white. They come in all different colors and this is how they come. 
I know some of you are saying, yeah, Michelle, I totally understand, but some of you are not card makers. I was never a card maker before this. So see how it's got this little scorn or whatever you call that? You guys are gonna laugh at me because you all know the different terms. I don't. And um, you can print on this directly if you want to. I don't because I'm afraid I'm gonna get this eaten by the printer. So I don't do that. And then they also come with the cards, them uh, the envelopes themselves. Now, the size of this, I usually use a measuring tape too. And so the size of this actual card, those of you probably already know this, but it's 4.25 by five and a half, okay? These are the smaller cards. I really like the smaller cards. Now you could get bigger cards. I don't know if they're called A5, A6, I'm not sure but you can get bigger size cards. And I think I made one here with my little guy here. Yeah, it's like a five by seven or something like that. So this is a bigger sized card. Let me just show you the difference here. It's, oh, you can't really tell though, can you? Well, if I put them on top of each other, you can. You'll see kind of like the difference. Ooh, let's go. So there's a little bit of a difference there, all right? So I like the smaller ones. And I did pick this up right when we, it was like right before the day or two before the stay at home thingy, we went to uh, Walmart and the only thing they had was the glossy photo paper. Now I went ahead and bought it, but a lot of people like the matte much better. A6 is what Laura said for the larger size. Thank you, Laura. So here's the glossy paper. Now you can get matte or whatever. I just went ahead and picked it up because and that was the only thing they had. And I don't remember how much it cost, maybe around $10. I'm, a, I'm very, very, um, I'm not, I don't wanna say the word cheap. Was it frugal? So I, I got almost all of this stuff for like 20 bucks and I've made so many cards already. All right, so you know all, oh, here, I'm gonna show you this. Now, this is so cool. I went to one, I, um, traditional scrapbook, et cetera, or something like that this summer. Somebody will remember what it's called, sorry, if I can't remember. But I went to that this summer and I hadn't been to one. I don't think I've ever been to one, but I felt like a kid in a candy store. So I picked up some of these Islet Outlet and Brad's. So I think their site is called isletoutlet.com. And you can buy these little things, they're stick-ons. Aren't they the coolest thing? And so let's see here. Smart shopper, not cheap. Okay, so smart. Oh, so I thought, Janet, I thought you meant go to smartshopper.com. You're talking about me being a smart shopper. That's so funny. Okay. I was gonna say go to smartshopper.com, but she's talking about me. Uh, so then these are little sticky, so you peel them off and you can put them on the cards. So Karen, you're gonna be so proud of me. Uh, so Karen, I showed Karen this card here. Is this what you kind of meant by putting it on the inside? Now, I printed it all the way out, like the whole thing, but I like to print all of it. So she says this is sort of like what she was talking about. So I showed her this card like a couple days ago when I first made it. And uh, she goes, well, you can cut part of that off and then have it on the inside. I'm like, what you talking about, Vern? <laughs> and so she showed me and I'm like, that's a cool idea. So, um, but what's really funny is that that same day that she told me this, we got this card from Grandma Stelling and it's kind of similar to uh, what she was talking about. So then I visualized it and I said, oh yeah, that's so cool. So um, I'm gonna kind of show you uh, how to do this. Thank you, Karen. She says, that's a good job. So I like to keep mine usually, oops, that's the wrong one. I picked up the wrong one. I did a bunch of these because I wanted to show you differences. Where did, I, where did that little guy go? I got so many cards here that I lost them already. Okay, <laughs> so I like to write on the inside, uh, my handwriting. So that's why I went ahead and didn't do it all the way across on the inside because it was hard for me to write on this glossy uh, stuff. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. All right, so yeah, another one I did for my friend. That one's fun. And I like to put pictures on there. I like to make it very, very personal. 
So here's another idea too. If you don't want to glue, oh shoot, I wanted to show you this too. I use this to glue it on. It's not perfect. And if anybody has a better solution, let me know. It, it's just a little roller, you know, and it rolls off the tape. So when I'm putting them on these cards, let me get a blank one. Hold on. Let me just show you this here. Oops, it's the wrong way. Wrong way. Uh, when you put them on, and I know some of you are saying, yeah, Michelle, we get it. We get it. Let me see if I can't find a blank one. Darn it. Here it is. Okay. Let me show you this. So I got the, I printed this off. This is just, I cut it to size. And then you have to remember it has to go on this side, the opposite side that you think it might go on. And then you tape it on. And I used this crafter's tape. Okay. Tomboy, Bobby says she uses Tomboy mono adhesive. At least I did in the scrapbooking days. Uh, scrapbook adhesives EZE hyphen Z runner works great. Perfect. So yeah, I know Mary's asked this question a few times. Another Cindy says Tom Bo Tom Bo B O W mono is easier to use. Thank you. A cup, a lot of people are saying Tom Bo. Okay. Oh, that's okay, Bobby. Tom Bow, T O M B O W. Okay, there's a lot of people saying that. So I'm going to have to go get me some of that because this, eh, it kind of gets hung up sometimes and it kind of tears off the paper. I don't know. I'm going to get some Tom Bow. 